Canadians, of course, should open their wallets and donate generously to the yes. famine refugees. But what else can they do in terms of uh, resolving some of the long-term political problems? Yeah. Well, southern Somalia is actually a breadbasket for that country. If they were to get the governance right, not only can Somalia feed itself, it can actually export food to the rest of Africa and the world. What needs to happen is governance needs to be fixed. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There are people, technocrats, uh, people with clean human rights records and no records of, of corruption who've left Western countries, who are ethnic Somalis, who've gone back to give uh, something of their skills back to that country to help rebuild it at great personal sacrifice. Those folks have a reform agenda. They've instituted anti-corruption initiatives and uh, really good role model, uh, models of government, and they're setting up viable government institutions. Those people need to be helped. If we help those folks, then Somalis will be able to, get, to stand on their own two feet and we won't have these uh, continuous uh, droughts and famines. The next drought, if there's viable Somali government institutions, when the next drought comes around, they will be in place to have anti-famine programs that prevent the deaths of uh, hundreds of thousands of people. Thank you so much for coming in today, Ahmed. Thank you for having me.